Welcome to my 2012 computer build. It was time to build a new fast computer uh, capable of uh, rendering today's modern uh, HD videos. Um, I know it's a bit of overkill but you might as build it right the first time. As a fan of Intel products I started my research here checking compatibility specifications and prices. I soon had a list of what I had wanted. After a few days of online shopping, the components were purchased and now they had arrived and it was time to start the assembly. So let's get started. We're going to start off with the uh, Antec 1100 enclosure. The uh, 1100 is part of Antec's uh, gaming series. It has plenty of room inside and ample airflow. It has uh, air filters for the uh, front uh, intake and uh, PCU intake. Also uh, has uh, grommet line routing holes so you can run all your wires in behind to make a neat job and there's also room behind the motherboard tray for lots of air movement to keep your system cool. Our first component we're going to put into our uh, new uh, enclosure is the uh, Intel uh, DZ77 RE75K Extreme Motherboard. This is one of Intel's newest uh, extreme boards. It supports the newest i7K processors capable of being overclocked. It also supports up to 32 gigabytes of memory. It has fast boot technology. Also has visual BIOS for advanced overclocking. And is one of the first boards to have th Thunderbolt technology. It has all the power and responsiveness you need. On our motherboard, we're going to install the uh, Intel Core i7 quad core processor. The Intel i7-3770K is a quad core processor, which is clocked at 3.5 GHz, and with the aid of Intel's Turbo Boost technology, it can be up to 3.9 GHz. Let's just say it's fast. The box set also comes with stock fan. We're also going to install on the motherboard the uh, Corsair Vengeance uh, RAM uh, that consists of two uh, eight gigabytes of uh, RAM and two sticks, giving us a total of 16 gigabytes. The uh, next thing we're going to install onto our motherboard will be our graphics card. It's a GeForce GTX 660 Ti graphics card. The 660 Ti is the uh, newest member of NVIDIA's GeForce family. It's SLI ready, which means you could add a second graphic card if needed. The large dual fan twin frozer cooler keeps the GPU from overheating. Plus when it starts up, the fans run in reverse for 30 seconds to blow out the dust. The uh, next item of our, our build will be the uh, Intel solid state uh, SSD drive. Uh, this basically built for our speed. The solid state drive has a capacity of 240 gigabytes of storage, it is very, very fast read and write speeds, up to 550 megabytes per second read speeds. This will be where I install my operating system and important programs. All other storage will be on the traditional hard drive. And the next item we'll install in our system will be the HD one terabyte uh, HHD drive. This will basically hold uh, all our uh, extra information uh, that's not stored on our SSD drive. Uh, next item will be our um, 
Sony uh, generic uh, CD DVD uh, ROM just uh, general basic uh, drive and to power our system we're going to use the uh, XFX Pro 750 watt um, power supply uh, semi modular unit uh, this will power up all our equipment with uh, plenty of uh, headroom once we have all our components put together and uh, we'll install our uh, Windows 7 Premium well now we've uh, started our uh, assembly uh, we've started prepping the case. Uh, we've got some components already added. We've uh, put in the uh, SSD drive. So that's the one there on the top. And uh, our hard drive. We've uh, included the uh, Standoffs are all in place for the motherboard. We've installed uh, our CD-ROM, DVD-ROM player, and also in behind that is a Bluetooth Wi-Fi adapter. Um, you can probably just see it there in the corner of the, this uh, drive here. Um, We've uh, also prepped our uh, motherboard off camera. As you can see, we've uh, installed the uh, CPU and fan. And we have also added the uh, two sticks of uh, Corsair RAM. So our uh, motherboard now is ready to uh, be installed into our uh, case enclosure. Now that the motherboard is installed into our case and screwed in f securely we can uh, now move on to uh, installing the uh, power supply unit. Which will go right here at the bottom. Now we've got the power supply installed. We're getting pretty close to having all our pieces in. The last uh, piece is the uh, put the uh, video card in. Now we have our uh, video graphics card installed. Um, we can uh, now move on to um, getting everything wired up. I connected the needed power cables to the uh, power supply unit. Uh, now power up the motherboard and drives. Uh, next we have to connect the uh, front panel headers and USB connections. And finally we will connect the uh, SATA cables to our drives. And now we're done with the uh, wiring. Okay, here comes a moment of truth if we've done everything okay. And let's go. Got a error, 48, three beeps. After replacing the uh, bad memory module, we are all set to install Windows and complete our system.